all right welcome to my youtube channel so on uh, special problem solving for differentiation by first principle we have a second problem here solution it says we should find the f prime of this using of course we are still doing with first principle right now so recall our approach first thing is to state your f of x which we have been giving us root x Second is to find your f of x plus change in x, which is h, and that is root x plus h. All right, and then next is to state your formula, and our formula says that f prime of x is equal to, okay, so, and then afterwards, we are going to make substitution, so uh, we are going to have the limit as x goes to zero, our f of x plus h is the root of x plus h, then minus f of x is root x, all over h, okay? So at this point, if we do a direct substitution of h as 0, we're going to have root x here minus root x, which is 0, and h is 0 denominator, which we do not want. So what can we do? So you recall that we have treated limits, and we also handled limits that contain roots. So whenever you have limits containing roots, especially in the numerator, even in the denominator, all you need to do is to multiply by the conjugate of that, uh, of the sort that you have. And the conjugate here is root x plus h. Then this minus here will change to plus. So we'll have root x here all over. You divide by the same thing. So the essence of this is so that you'll be sure you have not changed anything because I can still cancel out this and get back my equation. And so from here now, what do we have now? You can see that from what we have here, we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0. Now the numerator here is simply difference of two squares. And when you have difference of two squares, all you need to do is now... The, take the square of 1 minus take the square of the other. That's the difference of two squares. And if we take the square of this, we're going to have the root of x plus h all squared minus the root of x all squared. That's the meaning of this. And then that's all over h into bracket root x plus h plus root x. And now you know that uh, from what we have here, our root will be cancelled by the square. The root will take away the square. And so what you have here now is simply the limit as h goes to 0 of, we only have x plus h minus x left all over. Okay, and from here now, we can clearly see that x will take away x. And if that happens, we have only Okay, and then at this point, our h will cancel h. So you have only one left up here. And uh, what happens next? You will just have the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 all over. And then at this point, we can do a direct substitution. And if you do that, what will happen? Our h will become 0. And when h becomes 0, we only have root x plus root x. Therefore, our answer is uh, 1 all over root x plus root x, which is 2 root x. And that is the solution for our f prime of x. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.